excited. This is so exciting. Gets you excited. Uh, yeah. Step inside hundreds of restaurants, cafes, and bakeries here in town. Chances are you'll find an unexpected tasty treat or a new favorite cuisine. That is our hope. In this new series on Good Morning Tucson, I want to introduce you to some of the more creative culinary minds in our community. I'm asking them to show me a quick, simple recipe in the spirit of what they might make every day. We're going to step inside Boca on 4th and into Chef Maria Masson's domain. Maria thinks now's a great time to make a summer salad with her everything vinaigrette. Especially here in Tucson, everything is hot and sticky. And when you eat, you want to eat something refreshing. So you have one avocado, okay. a little bit of cilantro, and I grilled poblanos. I am going to do it with skin and all. I'm down. Because life is hard as is. So we're not going to make it harder. Sprinkle in some salt and garlic, but Maria cautions, be careful here. Remember, it's better to add after if it needs salt, more garlic. A little black pepper, and specifically Mexican oregano. I'm an oregano snob and salt snob. I bring my own salt from Sonora. Here's where Maria can trust her intuition and training. Measure out your apple cider vinegar, water, and this must have honey from a bear bottle. Everybody has a bear in their home. So the bear made an appearance. Next, a mix of canola and extra virgin olive oil. Listen to Maria's wise words here. This next step is critical. Put the top on. Don't be a hero. And it starts low. Time to taste, and I follow my gracious host's lead. Is that the correct form? No. Okay. I, <laughs> you go this, and you go this way. Uh -huh. Take okay. two with a little more oil, salt, and vinegar. I like it. You knew that made a difference. Yes, but, difference. but now you leave it like that. Break out the salad greens. You can add chiles or a little more avocado. Maria's mixing in tomatoes, pumpkin seeds, and pickled red onions. A perfect bed for the star of the show. Three to four grilled peaches, halved and pitted. And I dare you to not sing that song in that cartoon. This says yes. Just to be safe, a little extra black salt, and who's gonna say no to some queso fresco? It's not far away. It was okay. right there. So you get the queso fresco. The star of the show. Wow. Okay. I want the mic to pick this up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And sorry guys, I didn't save you any leftovers yeah, how dare from you? that salad. <laughs> that looks so good. Yeah, I feel like amazing. I could make a meal out of just the dressing alone. Yeah, that I could just good. take a spoon and just eat just it like with a cup, <laughs> just drink. And it down. perhaps to be fair, I said the peaches were the star of the show only because like I do love peaches. Yeah. Right. But Maria made the point that dressing from that vinaigrette, you could use it in almost anything you oh, like. Yeah, oh, yeah. I never would have thought to use it with pasta, and she said it would make oh, a yeah. great pasta. Sauce. I, could, I could see it on New pasta. I could pesto. see it as like a sauce even on a taco. Like our own steak or something? Yes. Yeah, Yum. that sounds amazing. Yeah. So Yum. if you go check out the story on kega9.com, I'll break down the recipe a little better because it kind of walks you through more of it as an essay. But the point is you can try these recipes at home. Lewis, our photographer, did so. Uh, oh. He is our first uh, sort of test try on it to say, yes, you can do it, and it's delicious. Oh, awesome. yeah, looks delicious.